millennial and Gen Z women, they live in a hive mind. This gentleman asked me to explore hive mind theory. I told him to go watch Who is a 10, and he said, only if you draw sassy broccoli, calling itself cauliflower. So here's our new friend with his peaceful request. He's a revengeable. So what is hive mind theory? It's a negotiation tactic. It's a dishonest one. I went over this in Who is a 10. That would be a collective agreement to use accusations in order to gain uh, political, institutional, and economic power. I'm going to show you how this works with economics. This is how we distribute value in society. First of all, we start with nature. We have to do stuff to nature. Buildings and food, they don't just exist. Someone has to go take trees and make them into wood and take dirt and make them into food. Someone has to take nature and make stuff. And when they make that stuff, they own that stuff. And then they can enter into an agreement with other people to process that stuff into things that we need here where they're chopping the wood into firewood. And you do that through agreements. And you can say, I'm the best wood chopper around. I've been doing it for a while. I'm certified to chop wood. I've been doing it for 20 years. You make an agreement between the employee and the employer who owns what he made from nature in order to produce value. You could sell the firewood for more than the log since it's been processed. And then the owner of the wealth gets to keep some of that as profit and some of it goes as a wage to the employee. Now, these agreements are sometimes unfair for the employee or the employer. So we have negotiations and some good forms of negotiation, honest forms are unions can be helpful sometimes. I know that's a conversation uh, asking for cost of living increases at your job, getting a promotion because you've been working harder. These are ways of saying, I need to renegotiate this agreement to get more of the value for myself. And then there are dishonest forms of negotiation, like uh, lawfare and making accusations, the hive mind and arguing with holes. I'll get to that. These work mostly through accusations. Basically, if you don't say what I want you to say, then you have hurt me. And that's how they get revenge for feeling neglected in this agreement. So this works economically, but it works socially as well. It gets you not just money, but power. All you guys use the same words to win an argument. Everybody's an incel. Everybody's a narcissist. You have trauma. That's how the hive mind works, just like agreeing that everybody is a 10 and so we all have to be treated like we're princesses. They will call you something like an incel if you say something that they don't want to hear. That's basically what arguing with holes is, by the way. It's when they say uh, you don't have access to the female body, so you're socially low, so nobody should listen to you and you should not have any power over these agreements that we make, whether they're economic or social. In this case, it's an internet argument. So even though this is an economic model, it works socially as well. For example, in the video, he talks about a girl who does OnlyFans, and what she wants to do is to be able to, to do that to get money and pay her bills without losing her value on the dating market. And if you tell her, well, that's not how it works, then she will use those words against you to try to lower your value and uh, uh, remove you from the conversation so that she can have her cake and eat it too. This is the drama triangle, and it's why victim mentality is so popular. This is basically the princess, the knight, and the dragon. By playing victim, by saying, you are saying something that's hurting me, it makes you look like the bad guy, like a persecutor. And if they can make a convincing argument that that's true, then they will call on a rescuer to come do something bad to you so that they will get what they want unopposed by your judgment. And this would be whatever, the government or the cops or the social media that bans you for making them upset. So this whole hive mind dynamic, it works by taking victim status to make you look like a bad guy so that somebody comes in and uses force against you to force you to give them more in exchange for less. And this only works because they stick together and tell the lies together, which gives them negotiating power. It really is nothing more than simple bullying, except they do it with psychology instead of beating you up. The best way that I know to deal with this dynamic is uh, when somebody uses accusations or the hive mind against you, point it out that this person is not the victim, but is actually the persecutor, and they are just trying to get away with something that they would never get away with if they were making an honest negotiation. 
This was all based on this clip, by the way, where this girl accused Brian from whatever of misogyny. And then he said, can you define misogyny? And she just cried. So that would be, you hurt me. I'm a victim. You're my persecutor. Agree with me or else. And if she can get people to believe her, then she ends up winning and you lose. So always point it out. Nobody hurt you. You're just trying to get something for nothing.